If we are not our brother's and sister's keeper, can anyone tell me what I'm supposed to say to the family of Ellie Rose Pierre-Louis? She's an immigrant worker, got fired on her job for organizing. All she wanted was health care for herself and her co-workers at Nova University. Blacklisted from employment or community, she drove north to pick crops in Virginia. And she died. She died from a lack of basic health care for a very simple chronic illness. And her co-workers in Miami, they keep fighting. But in the richest country on earth, Ella Rose died simply because she was poor. That can never happen again. That's why we're here, to take care of people like Ella Rose. We are our brothers and sisters keeper. We are our brothers and sisters keepers. If we choose just us, if we choose just us, Instead of justice for all, someone tell me what I say to Deborah Shank and her husband and the 1.9 million of her co workers at Walmart. Deborah was hit after work by a truck. She received a $400,000 settlement to help her pay for the care her family will require for her for the rest of her life. Then Walmart sued her to recoup her, their medical expenses that the insurance company paid. Walmart won the $400,000 three days after her son died in Iraq. Thank God that SEIU's funded Walmart Watch. And with the help from the news media, we shamed the company into giving her the money back. We are our brothers and sisters keepers, aren't we? We are.